later on that morning, my belly button uh, glue fell off as well. So I got a new belly button. Hello, beautiful humans. Thank you so much for joining me for another video. I am grateful to be here with you today. I am reporting in now four weeks post-op from my laparoscopy and DNC for endometriosis. <laughs> I thank you if you are new to the channel. My name is Bailey M. Bain. I'm so glad you're here. It's nice to virtually meet you. I am a spiritual entrepreneur as well as a yoga and meditation instructor. And I have been documenting my journey through being diagnosed with endometriosis. Um, so yes, now I'm four weeks post-op and I just wanted to do a little bit of a check-in with you, let you know how I'm doing, how I'm feeling, and how everything is healing up. So this one should be kind of short and sweet and to the point today. Um, okay, look behind me. You're going to see our half chewed off curtain. Uh, when we moved our couch here in front of the window our dogs like they sit on the back of the couch now and our dogs are not small the smallest dog we have is 65 pounds so as you can imagine um that curtain didn't stand a chance so we've got new curtains coming um they should be on their way soon and well they should be here soon we ordered them like a week ago it's not even that we can't have nice things with our dogs it's just that we can't even have things <laughs> can anybody else really yeah, so four weeks post-op, four weeks post-op. I am feeling really good, you guys, honestly. My first cycle post-op was a little bit weird. This is Friday, she's the smallest dog. <laughs> so my first menstrual cycle post-op was a little bit weird. Um, I should be expecting and anticipating the second one here any day now. I am three days late. I don't know what that's all about. I know that I'm not like pregnant or anything, so it will come. It's just being stubborn and I'm under a lot of stress right now too. So that could be a contributing factor as to why it's not here yet, <laughs> but I'm going to document that as it happens as well. So stay tuned for that. That being said, I post videos every Tuesday and every Friday. So don't forget to hit that subscribe button join the community and be a part of the healing and fun journey <laughs> so my incisions actually healed up really nicely after week three all the uh surgical glue fell off and i got to see my new belly button so it actually happened where the lower incision kind of fell off in my sleep and i woke up one morning i looked at it and like the lower glue and scab was free so i was like celebrating my lower scab coming off and later on that morning my belly button uh glue fell off as well so i got a new belly button my belly button used to have a pattern that looked like a pause button in there but now it's more like a plus sign and it is a little bit smaller than it was before i wish that i took a picture of it that's the one thing so if you're having a laparoscopy done Take a picture of your belly button before so you can compare it to after um, just for fun because that's the one thing, like I said, that I wish that I would have did. <laughs> My energy comes and goes, so I have generally a lot more energy, but um, I've kind of found that I'm falling back into old like patterns and, and habits, so I've been trying to pull myself out of that and not overdo and overwork myself, which is a huge learning lesson for me. Uh, if you're anything like that, it's a really tough thing to pull yourself out of when you're so used to overworking yourself and burning yourself out and, and keeping yourself busy and always doing something. Um, it's hard to take that step back and be more mindful. And um, that's what I'm trying to do because I can't keep up with the lifestyle anymore of just go, 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 go is really taking a toll on my mindset, my body, my mental health. Um, I can almost feel that like I'm not in alignment with what I'm doing, taking on more than I can handle, taking on one-on-one uh, -on -one client work even. I 
I feel like I'm resonating a lot more working in a group setting and being able to support a community in a group. So like on top of this whole figuring out my health journey, it's been a really long ride of figuring out myself as well and what I truly align with and what I want to be even doing for a living and something that I keep coming back to and that I just really love and can't even like get over that hump is sharing my story here with you guys right as I see 444 uh just being here and and feeling the love from this community feeling the support and and knowing that none of us are alone on this journey that we're all here for one another we are here to uplift and empower one another and that's what this community is all about it fills my heart with so much joy and you know the reward is it's simply just being able to be a support system and be supported in that same way with other women who are going through something similar and having that sense of divine feminine connection is something that i've lacked my entire life but um it's something that i'm i'm stepping more into and and being blessed by the universe in that sense so if you're watching this and you're here then i thank you for being part of my community i thank you for being a part of my journey and for listening to my story for uplifting me and i will be sending all the energy to uplift you in the same way I appreciate you, I appreciate you, I appreciate you. I'm going to close out this video. I hope that you have an awesome rest of your day and I will see you next video. Bye. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos. Join our Endo Warrior Goddess community by clicking the link in the description. And as always, I'll be back every Tuesday, Friday, and Sunday with more content.